Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at some automated or dynamic charting, uh, some really cool tips that you might find really handy. I think they're uh, pretty cool and it's a little bit advanced, so try and follow along, but um, I hope you find some, some value in this. The example you see on screen is uh, a typical bar chart with, uh, with very simple data but it's actually highlighted the maximum value. Now, we all know you can just click a particular data cell and, and change that, but that's going to be manual every time you make that change. And what we want to do is have a chart that automatically dynamically changes when you change the source information. So for example, I'll look at Jackson Trindell here. He's on 96. If we change him to 200, it's going to be the maximum. And now the chart has dynamically changed and you can see that Jackson Trendell is now the one that's highlighted in green. We can change that back again, 87, maybe change Vanessa Messi down to 100, and again, it's automatically changing as we update the data. The second example I would like to work on is exactly the same, but now we have two dynamic fields with the maximum and minimum in red and green. So again, you change Vanessa Messi down to 100. Automatically, Justin Yang is now the number one with the maximum value. And Candice Wynn is the lowest value at 76. Again, we'll quickly change another one, maybe down to 65. And automatically, that data point changes. Really cool, really handy. A little bit complex like I said, so let's go through the example and I'll show you how it's done. So to do this, the first thing we're going to do is start a new tab and copy the data over and we'll go through it from the beginning. So I'm just simply pasting the data that we had on the other page into this new tab. First thing I'm going to do is highlight the data, go up to the ribbon, insert a bar chart, select the down arrow and simply select the first one. And there's our typical bar chart all highlighted in the same color and we're going to make this dynamic. So what I'm going to do is just create a new table which makes it a little bit easier for you to understand. Full name and I'm going to find the maximum value here. And I'll just select equals this cell just so it exactly matches the one above. And I'll add a new column called other. So we're going to have this chart rep um, reflecting two bars of information, one being the maximum and one being other, and will overlap the chart. So this will make more sense as I go, go through it. So it's a, it's a formula that we need to have in place. And we'll start with equals if, now if Emma Bathurst's value of 132 is equal to the maximum value of this range, B4 to B13, I'm going to bring back the value of 132, B4. Otherwise, I'm going to bring back an error, and the error is an NA. Close the brackets, and it comes back with an NA, because Emma Bathurst 132 is not the maximum. We know the maximum at the moment is Justin Yang's 137. So we'll drag the cell down, and you can see now that the only one that's filled in is Justin Yang's 137. So the second thing we are going to need to do is find the other column, which is pretty much the opposite of the formula we had just here in the maximum column. So we'll do this by doing a formula. And don't forget, you can always pause this video. I know it might be going a little bit fast, but um, we can get the video done nice and quickly, but you can always pause the, your way through it. So again, we're going to do an if formula. If Emma Bathurst 132 
is not equal to the maximum value within the range B4 to B13. Don't forget to lock the cells. I'm going to bring back the number 132 in B4. Otherwise, I'm going to bring back that error of NA. And you do that by simply putting in NA open and close brackets. And this time you can see the 132's come up. And if I drag that down, the numbers appear in every one but Justin Yang. So now we have two different columns. So the next step is to reset this bar chart to the new data set. And we'll see how we can actually make this dynamic by using this new data set. To do this, uh, I've highlighted the chart. You can see the dots around the chart. I'm going to right click this chart and go down to select data. And you can see the data select is the old data set with the single line. I'm now going to highlight the new data set and press OK. And you can see that's automatically changed now with Justin Yang highlighted in a different color to the rest of them as we have two separate lines and the maximum value is with Justin Yang. Now if I change this and change Rihanna Jones to 150, you can see that Rihanna Jones is now highlighted as the maximum. Um, you would have noticed that the problem with the bars is that it's not spaced very nicely and what we need to do is reformat this chart just so it looks a whole lot more cleaner and I'll show you how to do that now. So what we are going to have to do is highlight the bars within the charts. I'll select these orange ones. And I'm going to right click Format Data Series. And we have a few options. If it's not highlighted on the third icon here, please do so. And you'll see the option of Series Overlap. And what this will do is put the two bars that are supposed to be side by side one is zero and one is is not zero based on the cells here we're going to overlap this by dragging all the way to the right and now you can see that the overlap is very symmetrical and the chart is a lot cleaner another thing we can do is just change the gap width i like to have a little bit less of a gap and I'm just selecting down and you can do that to your heart's content and what you feel is the best for you. So there we go, we now have the highlighted chart. In my, my example, I just changed the colors of the two options, green being good, red being bad. So I'll just quickly show you how I've done that. So this one, I've highlighted the orange bars, go to the orange bars, highlight them, I've highlighted them in a dark grey and the maximum and now it's highlighting this particular data set I'm going to change that one to green. We are going to add the data labels so I'm going to simply right click the bars add data labels and because this is a different data set as you can see I highlight the black data bars they go to other I highlight the green data bar it goes to the max it's a different data set so I have to right click there and add data labels and now we have our dynamic chart and very simply we'll have a, a test change Kate Jackson to 200 it's updated we can actually even data I'll put some filters on here I will sort this data from largest to smallest and again the data is dynamic it goes with whatever you make the selections on your original table and you might wonder why my example doesn't have that new data set uh, or arm um, that it's referring to well it actually does I've just hidden it below the screen and that's a tip or a trick that a lot of Excel users will do just to make the visual experience of the user a lot better you'll highlight or have the data in another tab or somewhere hidden on the page. So that's how you would do the maximum data value. I'm just going to quickly add in a heading 
into this uh, chart and finish off the job. So to do that and add a title, I'm going to just highlight the whole chart, go up to chart design, add chart element. There's a few options here. I'm going to add a chart title above the chart. And what it is, is basically we've got some full names and some vehicle quantities, probably salespeople. So I will do um, number of vehicles sold. There we go, there's our dynamic chart. And as we had in the second example, I'm going to add a second dynamic element to this particular chart. And before I do, if you're liking what you see or you think it's very handy, I'd love to see you hit that like button or subscribe to my channel. I've got a whole bunch of other videos you might be interested in. So to bring in the minimum value, as you may have expected, we do have to bring in a new formula and we'll call this um, new line minimum. And we'll use that regular formula again using the if. So we'll equals if, so what we're trying to do is find the minimum. If this value in B4 equals the minimum value with the MIN formula within the data set of B4 to B13, we will bring back that value. Oops. We'll bring back the value of B4, and if it isn't the minimum, we'll bring back the NA. And press enter. We'll drag those cells down, and you can see that the only one with a value is Candace Wynn on 76. There is a slight problem here. This other formula is only basically asking if it's not the maximum, bring me the value. And what that does is it's given me a double value here. So we need to change this formula in other to say, if it's not the maximum and it's not the minimum, bring the value. Otherwise we'll bring the NA. So what we'll do is update that other formula with a, another if function. And this time it's if and. So we're gonna have two conditions met here. And you can see down here it says the logical one step. So if B4 does not equal the maximum value within this range, the cells, and I press comma and it goes to logical two. If B4 does not equal the minimum value of this range. So there's my two logics. Um, and I can add a third logic, but I'm not. They're the only two ifs that I want to test whether it's true or not. So I'm gonna close the brackets. So if the cell is not the maximum and is not the minimum, I wanna bring back this value into other. And if it is the maximum or minimum, I want to bring back the NA. Close the brackets. And don't forget with the NA, you have to put that open and close brackets each time. And we'll close the bracket, press enter. And you can see when we drag it down, everything's going to have a value in it, except for the maximum value and the minimum value from this range. So the last thing we're going to do is readjust our chart and what it is referring to. So I'm gonna click the chart again. You can see that it's only highlighted this max and other. I'm now going to bring over the minimum column as well. So I'm going to right click the bar, select data, and now highlight the entire section. Press okay. And I'll just quickly format this minimum value column. Again, I've clicked this particular bar here, which is the minimum one. It's highlighted the minimum column. I'm going to change that to a dark red. I'm going to right click the bar again, add data labels. And now we have our dynamic chart with minimum and maximum. And 
let's just sort the data by full name A to Z and you can see that it automatically changes the data in the table and in the chart to refer to the data set on the left. Another quick example, we'll change Vanessa Messi down to 50 and now she becomes the minimum in the red and Kate Jackson is the highlight in the green. We'll take her down to 100 and it readjusts Rihanna Jones to be the highlight in green. So it's a really handy tool. It's a little bit complex to put together. Please follow along. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and check out my other videos and I hope to see you again another time. Thank you.